Hi everybody, how are you today? Kendia here with Simply Kendia. Back to share another junk journal with you. Um, this one is a envelope journal. It measures six by nine. Um, I put seam binding ribbon around the spine with some fun dangles and a safety pin, a light bulb safety pin with a pretty flower on, dangle on it. Um, I have this lovely lady on the front. My mom gave me these really neat books. So I'm going to be doing a few of these journals with lovely ladies. She gave me this one. It's um, Romantic Papers. Um, these are from the, the early 90s. And this one, Paper Enchantment. So they're decoupage and wrapping papers. So I'll be using them in junk journals. Um, I embossed this stamp in gold right there. For the closure, I have two alligator clips attached together with a bulb safety pin. This didn't need a real wide um, closure, but it did need a little closure. On the inside, we have this fun frame um, paperwork that I thought went goes nicely with the romanticness of the papers. And it has two signatures and I just added, so this is another cutout from those books, just added lots of tea stained paper, the same stamp that's on the front of the book there, graph paper, some designer paper, so this has a pocket, and then I have a note card here that has been stained and um, stenciled on. I punched out the corners on these decorative papers with little hearts. And I used the little hearts in the center of the signature that you'll see here in a minute. Here's another one of those beautiful papers with the flowers from those books I just showed you. This is from the those books as well. It says just for remembrance. I backed it with some cardstock so it can be a nice journaling card. And then this um, pocket is from those papers as well. So here's the hearts that I had stamped out. Here's the other side of that beautiful paper. And it opens up. A note card here that's been stenciled on music sheet paper. Here's a little postcard that is from uh, those papers as well that I put on cardstock also. Also punched out the heart on this book or this paper. And here's all the other sides of the papers and the center of the signature. Here, Here's the seam binding that I just tied onto the book through the center of the signature so if you don't like it you can easily just take it off. Here's the second signature, a little journaling card that I had upside down. Just a touch of red. Here's another one of those beautiful papers from the Romantic Pages books. I put this lady in here also from those pages and then I added a postcard that is from 1908 and look how pretty that is I just love the rose on that thought it went with a romantic vintage theme another flower cut out rose cut out this journaling card that says for the ph photographic album that just is romantic and soft the center of the signature stamped the same stamp of the front there and the hearts. Oh, that one got stuck. Flip out there. Flip out there. The other side of that paper. More music sheet. Um, here's uh, from that. Oh, now I can't think of what it's called. Shorthand. There we go. It says right on there. 
if I just read the page, I would know. Um, this is a, a beautiful page from that shorthand book that I have, and I liked the pictures. This is from the beginning of the book. I thought they went with the romantic lady theme that I have going on here. And we're at the back of the thing. The, thing so this come can come completely off so when you're journaling and it, I left this open so you have lots of pocket space and this helps keep it closed and then the back it's just a plain beautiful saint um, as the background here on the front and that is this book the um, vintage romantic lady and I will be doing more of these because I have lots of the papers from those books that my mom gave me. And so I will make a few of these lovely ladies and that are romantic and vintage and beautiful and put them in together in books. So um, hope you're having a great day. I love you all my subbies and um, I'll talk with you all soon. Bye.